Hey y'all, it's your girl Jen and I am back with another video. Thank you for stopping by my channel, Journal by Design. So in this video, I will be creating a gratitude journal for the month of December. I really want to hone in on being more grateful and mindful of things that make me happy this month. So I decided to create a journal. So first off, I want to showcase some of the cardstock that I purchased. All of this cardstock is purchased from either Michaels or Joann's. Um, so this plaid one is from Michaels and then this cute, um, miss I don't know if it's mistletoe. I don't know what these leaves are called, but this cute cardstock right here is from Joann's and then the cute polka dot cardstock that actually the dots are like felt um, material is from Joann's as well. So how am I creating this journal? I am actually cheating. I'm using these small little journals that you see all the time at Michael's that come in a set of three. One journal has blank pages. One journal is a dotted, has dotted pages. And the other one is like a monthly, weekly planner. You know your girl is going to use the dotted journal, of course. So let's dig in. Other things that I purchased to create this journal are these tags from Michael's, um, this little I don't know, embellishment from Joann's. I'm gonna use this in, to decorate the front cover of this journal. Pretty interesting, you'll see how I'm gonna use it. I'm excited about it. I bought some buttons that I wish I bought some sewing string, or not sewing string, <laughs> some thread and a needle so I can actually use that. Some washi tape, glue that kind of just rolled in a little bit. <laughs> and then I'm, I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. So this journal is perfect because it actually comes with 30 pages. So perfect for the month, the entire month of December. I know there's 31 days, so I already took apart one journal. So I'm going to add a page from that one and include it in this one that I'm making so I can be sure to cover all 31 days. I want to really like journal every day, whether it's a sentence or a paragraph or a word. I really want to be mindful, like I said, on things that make me happy and things that I'm grateful for. So I'm just showcasing really quick the three journals that this set comes in. So this one that I'm going to be taking apart is the dotted grid journal. This one is the plain one, the plain page one. And then this one is the planner one that has actually monthly and weekly layouts. So first things first. I'm taking this dotted journal that I'm going to be taking apart, like I'm not even going to use this cover. I'm going to take my staple taker router and remove the cover of this journal. Oh my gosh, that was so tough. Those staples were really tough to take out of this cover. Okay, so now I'm going to use the main cover. I don't know why I just put it away because I'm gonna use that cover to create the new cover for this new gratitude journal. So I'm showcasing all my cardstock again and I'm literally gonna use every pattern that you see here to create this journal. I'm kind of deciding between the two reds and I think I found one. I'm gonna use this one because the other one has more of a texture that I don't like and this one that I'm using is more smooth. So what I'm doing now, I'm gonna trace the cover, the old cover of the journal to create my new journal. I'm making sure, as you'll see here in a minute, that I leave a little bit of space around the perimeter. So just in case that um, the pages that I just took out of this journal are kind of longer or kind of stick out of the cover. I want to have that extra space to make sure that those dotted pages stay within the journal and I don't see them poking out once this whole recreation is complete. Okay, so I don't have those fancy tools that help you fold these kind of tough card stalks that are not really easy to fold with your fingers. So I'm taking my cutting board and an old pen and using that ridge where that blade goes through to use that to create a defined line to make it super easy to fold this cardstock. 
I know it's a little bit like ghetto, but like it works. It does the trick. Like it's a lifesaver. <laughs> I probably should go to Michael's and purchase that tool, but why when this is free? Like I'm just using an old pin and my cutting board and that little ridge where the blade goes through to fold it. Like look, look, it's like so easy. It came out super perfect and it doesn't wrinkle at the fold. I'm using my pin again, the old pin to like kind of make that fold permanent i don't know i don't know i feel like i'm onto something here maybe that's why they invented that tool but <laughs> that folding tool but hey it works Okay, continuing on, we're still on the cover. I'm not doing anything else but creating the outside cover of this journal. I want to create a pocket. So I'm using the plaid cardstock to make a pocket on the outside of this gratitude journal cover. Now, I'm not a professional at making pockets. <laughs> so making this pocket is a little bit ugly, but it still does the same thing as me trying to, I guess, professionally make a pocket, if that makes sense or if that's even a thing. I'm so grateful for this plaid cardstock because those columns are even. So I'm gonna use those to help me create this pocket and to make the fold um, on the inside of the cover that much more precise, if that makes sense. And I know I say if that makes sense a lot, but I really hope it makes sense. Okay, so here's where I was talking about where I'm not a professional at making a neat pocket, but it still does a trick. So I'm just kind of ballparking everything. I'm using a pencil on everything that I do so um, nothing's permanent or bleeds through this particular cardstock because the plaid and like the mistletoe looking cardstock, I really don't know what it's called, but it's kind of thin. So I'm using a pencil. Um, I'm kind of ballparking where it's at, cutting these corners so that way the folds um, are clean as clean as they can be. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom.
so the pocket is just about done but to get those edges that didn't quite lay down as flat as i want them to i'm using super glue i know if i use this gorilla glue the paper ain't going not aware so i'm just getting the super glue to get those spare pieces that just won't lay flat um i'm using the super glue to help me make them lay flat <laughs> okay so now the inside i want to cover those folded edges on the inside of the cover i kind of don't want them to go all the way to the edge um, just in case I for me for preference I don't want to make them go to the edge because I don't want to make a mistake and cut into the cover because if I cut into the cover that means the dotted pages that I'm going to be stapling in a little bit later will show on the outside I hope that makes sense now I'm like self-conscious about saying I hope that makes sense but <laughs> yeah so that's what I'm doing here I'm just cutting a piece so I can put it on the inside of this gratitude journal cover and like I said I'm not making it go all the way to corner to corner because I don't want to accidentally cut the cover and then my dotted pages kind of show on the outside. I don't like that look. It just looks sloppy to me. So yeah, I kind of struggled gluing this piece of paper in because it didn't allow me to fold my cover completely. It like kind of gapped open a little bit. So another trick, I just used my fingernail, which you'll see here in a minute and kind of cut through the center of the cover so that way the cover can fold as smooth as possible. Okay, so now to the fun part. We're about to decorate the outside cover of this journal. So that's where these two decorative cardstocks come in. They're just so pretty. I should have did this first, but I want to cut little strips of each cardstock and put it on the inside of the cover. So that's what I'm doing here, using my cutter and kind of ballparking how far deep I want it to go into the cover decor. So I'm really loving these Kubo and Lucy paper clips that I recently purchased. It's helping me keep everything in place without making them permanent because I might want to move things around a little bit later. I'm pulling out these tags from Michaels and this particular package came with the black and red plaid and then the green, white and red plaid. 
Now, I would have went with the green, but y'all, this plaid on plaid is really giving me a whole vibe. <laughs> it's so cute. Now for the secret weapon, y'all. So, I bought this embellishment from Joann's just past by. I was like, hmm, that might be cute on my journal. Let's see how this will work. I really like these leaves, these flat leaves that this embellishment came with. And I am decide I decided to go ahead and see how it will look adding it into this gratitude journal. I personally love the way this came out, but you guys tell me once you see the rest of this video. And now for the buttons. I just really like layering and how high, I don't know if that's really the right word, but just the layers of this journal is like really giving me like goosebumps. It's just so cute. So I'm adding a green and a red button. And like I said, I wish I had bought thread and a needle so I could make it actually look like it's sewn into the cover, but oh well, it still looks cute. Now, I also wanted to, decided at the last minute to add this lighter green leaf from that embellishment. I really love how the two different tones of green, even though they're slightly different, really makes this journal cover really pop with the green button, the little bit of green from that strip of the mistletoe cardstock, that's just what we're going to call it. I don't know what it's called, but that's what we're going to call it, <laughs> um, really comes together, like really pulls off really well. The tags from Michaels came with string and I thought they were individually separated, but they weren't. So I kind of pulled this all out and showed y'all for nothing because I don't want to put the string in yet. And I wish the string came in a little bit more um, darker brown color, vice white. I never showed you what the tag said. So it says tis the season and it has this really cute gold embellishment in it. And I just, this cover so far is just really coming out really nice. And it's also interactive. Y'all know I love a good interactive spread. So why not make an inter interactive cover in my new gratitude journal? Okay, next. I purchased a paper pack a long time ago and didn't realize I had this cute paper bag styled paper and decided to pull this out to write out the words or type out the words rather um, my gratitude journal December 2020. I used a typewriter font on Word and just printed it out on this cardstock like paper and I love how this turned out. I love that I found this brown color because I show was about to put it on just a plain white piece of paper and put it on this journal but it makes the theme or the whole kind of like cozy vibe come together for this cover. I also decided to distress the each little piece of paper and before I show you what color I'm using I just want to show you up close the words that I um, typed out on Word on this cardstock paper. Again it says my gratitude journal December 2020 and I use the typewriter font on Microsoft Word. So I am distressing, distressing each piece of paper in the old paper color. And even though it's very minimal, a very minimal detail, I just feel like that little detail made these little words come out and pop even more. Like it looks so much better. Okay, before I glue on these words, I just want to super glue these two buttons together because they was getting on my dang nerves every time I moved this cover that the buttons kind of like went their own way so I'm using super glue to make these this button decor permanent before I glue down the words Okay, so now that that's done and those two buttons won't go flying everywhere as I'm like moving this journal cover, I want to kind of ballpark, eyeball where I'm going to put each word. And again, I distressed each little piece and even though it's kind of hard to see in person, it came out really nice. The paper color, kind of like a green hint on this, um, what is this? The paper bag colored cardstock paper. <laughs> made it look even more better and it like I said it really made this cover look even more cozy more a holiday more like get some hot cocoa and mush and marshmallows I'll show about to say mushrooms ill <laughs> marshmallows in your hot cocoa vibe like it's just a whole vibe and I love it I'm using my hot glue gun to make the words permanent 
And I really like using the hot glue gun because you know, it kind of dries a little bit fast. So it kind of makes like, makes it look like the words are kind of popping out at you. And I really like that subtle detail as well. Okay, so now I'm ready to glue everything down and make it permanent. Removing the paper clips and just gluing everything down, starting with the buttons. Now, this is all you'll see. I completely forgot, or I might have accidentally deleted the video where I actually glued down the leaves, the two colorful cardstock strips, and the tag. I completely forgot to film it, or I might have deleted it. I don't remember, but Keep in mind that everything that I glued down, I used a um, the hot glue gun that you saw previously, except for these strip, strip, two strips that I'm pulling off. I actually used the Elmer's glue stick. So yeah, I'm sorry I kind of missed that. So here is everything kind of pulled all together. Like I said, it's an interactive cover. You can pull out the little tab and it's super cute. I might put like a little quote or something on top of it. I don't know, we'll see. Um, as the days go on. Also, I kind of felt like something was missing on the cover in these two bare spots. So I'm using this cute ribbon um, paper clip by Kubo and Lucy and adding that to this um, cover. And it turned out really cute. But also at the same time, on the very top, which you'll see here in a minute, I feel like something is missing there too. So I found these two white buttons that came in this button pack that I had. And I think I like it. So maybe down the line, I'll add these two white buttons. But you tell me what you think. Should I leave the buttons or should I add the buttons? What do you guys think? Because it kind of like it kind of looks cute, don't you think? Like, I kind of like that. But anyways, I do like the paper clip, so that will be added. But now it's time for the grand finale to add these dotted papers or dotted graft pages. And it kind of sticks out a little bit here. But once I staple them in, girl y'all y'all <laughs> i feel like i'm talking to my girlfriend you won't see any of it and it came out so much better than i expected so i use that um heavy duty stapler to staple the edges as you see here and then i used a hammer to kind of hammer those edges down and i'll probably be using washi tape to cover those because i don't want to cut myself on accident but as i'm showing you this cover as it's kind of done <laughs> I'm about to add that paper clip again. I really am proud of myself. I think this journal cover came out so stinking cute. It's my first gratitude journal and I'm hoping that I stick with it for the full month of December so I can actually have a flip through for you at the end of the month. I might even add some um, journal with me videos in here for my not so personal pages that I'm gonna be putting in here. But y'all are like, yo! Isn't this cute? <laughs> Isn't this cute? Like I said, it's interactive. You can pull out the tab. The inner cover is cute. I might add a quote there as well on the inner cover. Um, but it's the dotted grid pages that I love so much. Like this is a whole like just thing. It's just so cute. I know I'm hyping this up a lot, but y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments. What do you think about this journal cover? I'm gonna be quiet and let y'all like see this journal cover and all its glory before I finish this video. <laughs> Okay y'all, so that about wraps up this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I'm super obsessed with this journal cover and I'm really excited for what I get out of this month in my gratitude journal. Again, it's an interactive journal. I hope you guys try to 
um, replicate this because I really want to see what you guys come up with. Y'all are always way more creative than I ever will be. And I just love it. I love that there's a pocket on the front and the back. So as I go on throughout the month, if I want to add something in the back, I can. And I just, I don't know, I'm just really feeling this gratitude journal. I'm just really grateful and excited for what my state of mind will be at the end of this month and I don't know I'm just on a whole new vibe and I told one of my friends that it's gonna be like a I'm on like a whole operation of new gen who this <laughs> operation like whole new Jennifer coming at you so I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up y'all please don't forget to subscribe and I'm so looking forward to next time I can share another video with you Bye bye Oh,